This dude down there at one stop tonight, he ran up on me. Here in Lakeland, off a of Wabash, one stop dollar store. <clears throat> he said his name was Matthew anyway. I asked Abraham, the store owner, what do you know about him, man? He said he's the biggest thief around. I said, hell, I, I wondered if he was going to rob me the way he come running up, man, staring at my bike like a crackhead. <laughs> and that bike was crack. <laughs> and uh, he had a buggy, a flat buggy, very unusual, with bike parts, bicycle frame on it. I saw from across the street at the other store over there in the parking lot he was pushing around. Acted a little bit crazy, man. <clears throat> And he asked me, where do you live? I didn't tell him exactly where. I was in a hurry to get in the store. And I saw Bill McCoy down there. A previous neighbor of 20 years. Told him, hey man, it's good to see you. I was just thinking about you, man. He said, I still like my beer. Had him a six pack. A great neighbor, man. But that dude uh, that said his name was Matthew, he was a Latino dude. Maybe Puerto Rican. Spoke English very well. Interesting character he was indeed. Of course, I don't go in that store without locking that bike up, man. And it's pretty heavy, man. It's uh, about a hundred pounds. At least. That was before I put a Harley Davidson seat on it and a big, big rack. And uh, some heavy duty forks. <coughs> kickstand so it's uh, real difficult to pick up and throw over a fence or anything like that and it's always locked up out here in the yard man but there's some people out there that would like to get this bad boy here man and it's easier said than done because I don't leave it out of my sight man I watch it like a hawk I'm going to keep an eye out because I told Eva I got a feeling somebody's going to try me soon. <laughs>